Hi, I am Tia Sosen for Daily Tea. I've been, I've been spending the past uh, two days with uh, my family, my uh, <coughs> two little ones and uh, my wife mostly. And uh, we've been, well, kind of enjoying our time, which we usually don't really get because I'm way too busy with um, my other activities related to tea and tea ceremony. Um, but the past few days we've um, taken the time to do some stuff together, uh, go out on a trip and uh, spend some time in the park, play with the kids, etc. Et um, it's been a lot of fun and it's been really great. And um, <clears throat> it actually made me think of something that um, I've learned again through the practice of um, tea ceremony as well, which is to well, two things actually that um, I've come to really realize through doing tea ceremony that is one um, to be grateful for what we're being given and grateful for being able to be together with the persons that um, are here and now together with us in this environment in this um, occasion the other one is to have respect to be respectful towards those others if you know them or not and um, to also respect what they um, think or feel and especially in a tea ceremony setting those two items having um, <clears throat> well being grateful for being able to be together with whomever is in the same space and also um, having respect for what they might believe or what they might do even though they might be completely different from the things that, that you stand for um, one thing that in tea ceremonies well one, one phrase actually that in tea ceremonies used a lot is uh, Ichigo Ichi E and that means um, well some people translate it as once in a lifetime um, it's basically there's only one occasion in which we being, we can be together. The opportunity that you and me have now in this moment will never be recreated. <clears throat> we may meet up again in the same space, have the same conversation, but it will never be the same again. It is only now, this hour of time, in this place, with these people around us, that this can occur and it would be a waste to neglect that moment or to um, spill bad energy in that moment um, because it's the only moment that you might be able to enjoy in this contemporary here and now setting so even though the person you're together with you might not like or even though um, the person who you're together with might have made <coughs> uh, an offensive uh, complaint or something in from from a tea ceremony perspective from a tea ceremony mindset it is only here and now that that occurs it is part of what happens and we should be appreciative that we get that experience that we get that um, that understanding so I felt actually that the people who are closest to me my family of course also deserve some of that gratitude and some of that um, respect which I'm continuously pursuing in a tea ceremony setting but it does just as much apply to our lives as well and um, that's what I've been doing the past two days and I'm planning on doing it much much more as well because they are actually who are dearest and closest to me whom I should be most grateful for for being here uh, together with me and have most respect for their beliefs and their ideas because they will be with me for a very very long time thank you for watching today's episode of daily tea 
and um, I'll be looking forward to seeing you on our next episode.